everyone. Hello from Mallorca, Spain. This is our um, Living Miracles Center here in Spain. Such a beautiful, beautiful place. Very quiet, um, very, very peaceful. It feels like, almost like we're back in the medieval time and time has never passed. This is a very slow pace of living here. It feels really, really good being here. And today I feel um, to just do a little video just to share with you around something that has been present in my mind these days. A um, couple of days ago, I talked with um, a friend here and we were talking about a seeming frustration um, around not being able to let go of control around certain area. And just this, there seems to be this this control coming up over and over again. And in the end, I said, why don't we just pray together and allow the spirit to bring some solution instead of trying to come up with a solution. So we were joining around what would be the prayer that feels right, feels really landing for her. And then first it was, I want to let go of control. I want to relax in this area. I do not want to struggle. But in the end, we just landed into something And I said, what if we pray together that we trust that you have already given over your life to the Spirit? And if that is true, then you can relax that everything that happens because of that strong devotion and because of that strong desire and because you have sincerely handed over your life to be guided by the Spirit, then what if we just trust in that? And that's our prayer together. We trust that we have already given our life over. We trust that whatever happens now is involuntary. And that is undoing this, this analysis and pointing fingers at an area, compartmentalize, you know, what we do in our daily lives and finger pointing an area and saying that seems to be something that I'm not doing right. And I want to find a solution toward that pro problem that I just self-diagnosed. And it feels just an instant uplift in the moment. And I really feel to share that because I feel like what we are truly praying for, all of us, it's not really a future release. Future release is not really good enough for us anymore because this whole world is about future promises, future release. Since we, you know, since we were born, it's all about the future. It was all about in the future, your dream will come true. And hence, you will be happy and you will be free. It's always about doing something now so that 
then and I think at some point we have to see that that itself is a trick because the future never brings anything even if um, what we seem to imagine or fantasize about become true one day that's still so temporary and because of who we truly are anything that is temporary cannot cannot truly satisfy and who we truly are is eternal light eternal love and only eternal light and eternal love can match and can bring that satisfaction and that's why when we keep searching and search, searching in this world anything that is temporary and and is purely a projection in terms of form in terms of symbols can never satisfy the mind and cannot help the mind and can help can only help to serve as a temporary symbol but can never be the things that the mind is looking for to find itself so what we're looking for now is not future releases it's not future freedom what we are looking for is a present present release and when we join in that present trust we trust that we have this sincere desire to give our life over to the spirit when we join that trust something lifts straight away something ease up is the mind straight away something relaxes straight away in the mind because there is no control in that moment and there is no trying to figure out trying to diagnose and trying to come up with a solution and really deep down all of this if you look deep enough everything comes from this desire to compete with God that is really what every single problem comes down to we want to make up an identity we believe we have made up an identity and we want to validate this self-made identity defend it grow it keep it exist and compete with with God so even the self-diagnosis and trying to come up with a solution even this attempt to figure out how we're gonna go about this spiritual journey everything it is still come down to that because that is going against this total trust this total trust to to God to to the spirit that knows who we are and what we truly want I was talking uh, with my friend Soren this morning and um, I just look at him and I think how how much has happened in the last two years you know since I met him in Copenhagen Denmark Denmark it was probably about three years ago but he came to join me in this uh, movie project take me home about two and a half years ago and how much has happened and we had no idea we first met what would unfold during this short time span and he he's totally 
you know, he had just totally transformed. I can hardly recognize him now. It just feels like he's a different person. Something just has happened. And when I mentioned that to him, he said he really didn't feel like he did anything. He only said yes. That's all he felt he did over and over again. He just said yes. He said yes to the spirit. And then we laughed about it because he said every time he said yes. And then when he reached that that uh, new situation, then it always felt like I said yes to something, but it's not this. I didn't say the yes to this. I thought I said yes to something else. But over and over again, he said yes, and then he realized, oh my God, this is not what I said yes to. How is this? But then he stayed and he trusted and all this intense, um, yeah, mismatch of expectations, he just sat through it. But in the end, it, it was all forgiven. It was all healed. The expectations, the, the idea of what he wanted and the idea of what was good for him, the idea of who he was, everything. The Spirit has such a, a beautiful and divine plan but not a plan in terms of what you can achieve in form. Not really a plan about you can become a better version of this personality self. Not a plan that to reinforce that you are capable in this world. But it's a plan of such expansion of awareness of who you, who you think you are. It's a total undoing of these small boxes that we build, that we call our as our own identity. It's such a beautiful journey to be able to just trust. So I think being on this journey for the last 10 plus years, if, if I have anything new to share with you, is really just this, just relax. You can relax. You can just trust and relax. I feel like, you know, at the beginning, of this journey it was still a lot of effort it was still a lot of fear of not doing it right and um, trying to assess where I'm at on this spiritual journey how far I've, I've gone and how fast whether I'm going backward why are things still there are but it just feels such a beautiful divine plan nothing is what you think and please trust that you in perfect hands and knowing that you are doing everything you're supposed to do. And if you can be in this alignment in your awareness that you actually do want to surrender your life to the spirit, you do want to be guided by the Spirit, if you really feel that is true to you, then just relax. And if you say, oh, I don't really know I'm there yet, I really don't know I can give over this part of my life to the Spirit to be guided, then just just see that and be, be, be true to yourself of where you're at. The Spirit can work it. The spirit will help. The spirit does not want to elevate fear. The spirit will not scare its students. That is something you can trust. The spirit will never frighten its, its students. And we are his students. So we are in the hands of someone who is so loving to us 
and knows what is the most helpful at any given moment. And I think for us, the only real work is to purify this desire because all our thoughts come from the deep desire of our heart. So once the desire is, is there, then the thoughts are just going to come from that. And there is nothing we can do except to forgive the thoughts, meaning that we do not reinforce if the thoughts are from the ego if the th if the thoughts don't bring us peace we don't keep jumping into it and reinforce the story reinforce the th thoughts we want to come back to this place to say oh my god these thoughts really do not bring me peace and please let me see them let me see what i perceive let me see them from your eyes let me see them with a different interpretation and that's all that we can do and the more we we're doing this forgiveness work the more we're gonna see that what we want is that we don't want to jump onto the train of the ego thoughts anymore and in that the, the desire is getting purified but that's really all that we can we have to do in this spiritual journey we're not our own healers we're not our own teachers we are not our own diagnosers and we do not provide our own solutions we have to really resign those roles and become the only become proficient at, at the only thing that we are responsible of the only thing that we are capable of and we can do which is to forgive those thoughts which is to to be willing to step back from the place of total engagement from the stories and from the judgments and from the thoughts to step back and ask the spirit to look at it with me that's really the only thing we can do So in a way, I, I just feel like our part is, it's very simple, it's very single, and it's very small part. We do not have any say about what is to happen in a situation. You know, what seemed to occur to us in this perceptual world is not really our responsibility. There's nothing we can do about that. Our responsibility is, is not that. If we get so caught up in trying to change the perceptual world, then our focus and attention is distracted from changing the things that we can really change, which is what thoughts we choose to believe in. The opportunity is always there to forgive. The opportunity is forever present to say, Spirit, help me look at this. Give me a whole different set of thoughts so that I can learn what is truth, so that I can learn what is the source of those loving thoughts. I should know the source by knowing their thoughts first, by knowing the fruit first. If the thoughts give me peace, then the source is who I am. So. You know, it's not like right or wrong around trying to change the, your life and change the world. It's just the fact that you can't really change that because they are what they are based on all the thoughts that we already selected. Trying to change the future, you know, it, it's future is based on what we're selecting deep down in the desire of this mind. So we have to focus on what is present and what is 
within the realm of our choice. And we don't even get to choose the thought because the thoughts come from the desire. So all we get to choose is we choose to forgive the thought that are present in our mind or not. That's the only choice we have. It's really, really simple. And forgiveness is not something that even we have to do. Forgiveness is but to ask the spirit. Spirit, show me differently. In that way, forgiveness is not a, a doing. For the forgiveness is not an action. Forgiveness is not to say that they really did me wrong and I'm I'm gonna work it to go beyond this hurt and this grievance because I am spiritual and I'm better and that I have to somehow reach that point. No, this this thought that you believe to be true that actually hurts is something you step away from and ask for a new interpretation of. So this this just brings our responsibility in our life to such simplicity so simple so simple that it's hard to accept but if we can do it well if, if this is what we focus on then we're gonna be happy we cannot help but be happy because spirits thoughts make us happy straight away and if be happy is our goal. It is a very simple goal. If that's what we focus on. You know, so in this journey of wanting to be happy, we, we will encounter all the other goals that, that we hold in our mind, consciously or unconsciously. Because ultimately the conflict, what brings these ups and downs in life, that sometimes we are in this happiness and sometimes we're not. It seems like things just happen to us without our control. But really what is going on is there is a conflict inside. And this conflict is the conflict of our goals, the conflict of our desire. We want happiness, but we also want something else. And this something else is the total opposite of happiness. It's what we think, what the ego think. Let's keep the separation first, your separate body, your this identity. That assumption never be questioned. And then let's see, based on that, what can bring you happiness. So basically you want real happiness and then you want what the ego tells you can bring you happiness. And they're unfortunately the total opposite because that assumption is against happiness. So basically all our lives we're just it's it's a huge conflict and battle of of goals and desires and it's not total integrity within ourselves. So we perceive this world as out of alignment, out of integrity, uh, out of harmony, but it's really the pro projection from a very deep place in our unconscious mind. So that's why it is our our only responsibility and this is why we need we need to be integrous to ourselves what is our goal what is this for what are we living this life for what are we doing this for do we really mean it that we want to be happy do we really mean it that we want the spirit. If that is really true, are we willing to let go of everything that isn't? You know, it is not hard to say I want happiness, but to want happiness also means that I don't want anything that is not gonna bring me happiness. And that part seems to be very reasonable but if we ask that question, that some, somehow that becomes, I'm not sure I want to let go of the go of this and this and this, this. Because somehow we still believe those are the things that are going to bring us anything. But 
but I'm here to just to share with you and invite you into this total totality of the desire of peace totality of the desire of happiness and trust that if we want it to be total yes there will be um, bumpiness because all the things that that we still hold as true and as what we want will come up and we will face this period of relinquishment seemingly relinquishment but it's relinquishing something we don't want eventually but I yeah that's why I invite you into this totality because it, it is a place of of total peace and a total joy total relaxation So our desire is our only responsibility and forgiveness is is the means to pur purify purify the desire to this totality. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time.